me over again? I told you, boot camp. Ugh. But I want some hard-bodied airhead. Oh, thanks. I do boot camp. <sighs> what does she do? She does boot camp. <sighs> you so silly you could be twins. Ew. Come on. I've done 90% of the work for you. I found out she's really nice mm -hmm. and she's a lezo. Yeah, I don't know. And she's got tats. What kind of tats? Yeah, let me explain how a date works, okay? You call the person, agree on a place to meet, sit down, eat, drink, interact, and by going through this process, you find out all these answers for yourself. Huh. Then the next day, after she's left, you call and tell me every gruesome detail. You know what? I'm kind of flat out. Okay, Busy B, I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you a number, you call her, no squats. No squats. Diddly squats. You get your drink while you wait. There's a mulled wine, a biodynamic Shiraz. Biodynamic? Um, sounds dynamic. Yes, yes please, then Shiraz. Excellent. Bring out some tempo sticks for your lunch. Thanks, Pat. Thank you. First woman on earth, last woman to lunch. <laughs> I'm Zara, like the clothes shop. The lunch shop? The clothes shop, you know, the Spanish chain. Zara, it's massive. No, I don't know that one. Well, it's called Zara. Oh, sorry, I'm late. Two wheels good, one wheel bad. That's fine. I um, I was just checking in on Facebook. I couldn't find your page, though. I mean, not that I'm stalking you or anything. No, I don't do Facebook. I like my friends to be people who I've actually met. And 10% of the bill goes to Greenpeace. Oh, great, I can pick out and make a difference. And I promise not to tell Mel. <laughs> oh, you'll make me work it on your boot camp. <laughs> and you will not give up until your eyeballs pop out from exertion. <laughs> sorry? We have ways of making you exercise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why you're using that voice. Oh, I was just... I was just doing a... a German accent because that was a bit of an exercise Nazi. That's a vivid imagery. Now the kimono salad's good. It's got beetroot. Were you in court today? Sorry? What, what, did you have court? I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. Court. Yeah, of course. Mel told me you were a barrister. <laughs> what? No, 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 I'm not I'm not a barrister, I'm a barista. Oh, that's really embarrassing. I'm I didn't so have to go to university quite as long. You know, I'm I'm not sorry that you're not a barrister. I don't have a lawyer fetish. But you can always count on me for a cup of coffee. Not so useful in criminal matters or civil disputes. Oh that's great. I go through about twelve lattes on the night shift. That's right, Mel told me you're a nurse. Well, no, I'm a purse. <laughs> I hope you didn't mind me ordering for us, but one of us had to make a decision. That's fine. You seem to know what you're doing. You don't have any allergies, do you? No, nothing. Food-wise, just penicillin and penis. It's just that my, um, my ex-girlfriend had a very serious peanut allergy. Oh, really? Yeah, she nearly died in Hobart, accidentally eating satay. I have a friend who nearly died in Hobart, from boredom. Mm. It was one of the most terrifying moments of my life. Sorry, but, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I sometimes say silly and inappropriate things when I'm nervous. So how long were you together? Three and a half years. So, what does your romantic resume look like? Oh, I'm thinking that the interviewer may want to know why I've jumped from job to job so often. Mm. How often? Well, I made it to a month. Once. So no one's special enough to take home to mum and dad. No, not since Mark Brennan in year 11, who's my dev partner. Right. <laughs> nice. Well, that's insightful. So, uh, they've never met any of your girlfriends? God, no. They don't even know I've got a tat. Are you 
for real? To be honest, I just thought they'd spot it at Christmas time. Not the tash, your sexuality. Well, that is a lot harder to spot at Christmas. <laughs> You're not out. I'm out? I'm out to the people I want to be out to, which doesn't include your family. It's just never really come up. You're living a lie. <laughs> living a lie? I just don't see the point of shouting it from the rooftops. You could just tell them you're gay using your normal voice. Can we talk about something else? Okay. What if someday you happen to find yourself in a long-term relationship, say, two months? And this woman wants to put a ring on it. Get married. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It's happening all over the world. I just don't think it's worth the fuss. And you're going to have something to say about that, aren't you? A fuss. You think gay marriage is a fuss. God. You're anti-gay marriage. I'm not anti. I'm, I'm bewildered. Bewildered. Stop repeating everything I say. It makes you appear slow. I'm sorry. I'm just finding it difficult to process the sheer, how shall I put this, fuckness of your misguided views. Steady on. Oh, I'm steady. I am rock steady. Okay, Gwen Stefani. The divorce rate in this country is 50%. 50%. So, if I was going to buy a car, if I was going to scrimp and save and buy my dream car, something European, of course... I would hope that it would work more than half of the time. You're not allowed to buy a car. In fact, you're not even invited into the dealership. I, I don't want to buy a car that's not going to get me from A to B. Gay marriage is our point B. It, it's not my point B. No, that's right. Your point B is a shopping mall. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Uh, because you, you've totally got me worked out, haven't you? You've got me pegged. Well, if it looks like a duck and it sounds like a duck, I'm going to kill Mel. You're a parody. <laughs> I'm a parody. Mm. All refugees are saints. Tony Abbott is the devil in speedos. What are you talking yeah, about? Five-speed push bike. At least it's not a gas guzzler. Food co-op. What, not enough brands for you? Fair trade coffee? Q&A. What's wrong with Q&A? Oh, there's nothing wrong with Q&A. It's gospel hour. In fact... Tony Jones is probably the only man you would ever consider sleeping with. I might give you girls a minute or two. Actually, I haven't watched Q&A in quite a while. Let me guess. No TV. <laughs> that is just perfect. I own a TV. Oh, is it powered by your bicycle? I like watching The Voice. The Voice? As in Seal? Well, I'm more Team Delta, but yes. In fact, I'd like to be a contestant on The Voice. No, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. How will you stand on stage in front of Seal, Delta, Joel and two million home viewers if you can't sing here in the girls' dunnies with just me listening? Yeah, I'm listening too. Uh, but I'm leaving. I'm leaving. E? Yeah? Are you sitting down? Yeah? Stand up. Well, I remember Delta saying something about your diaphragm. It's important. Got myself into some trouble tonight. Guess I'm feeling blue. It's been so long since I've seen you. This distance between me and you I burned for you What am I gonna do? Burn for you Burn for you Okay. 
You surprised me. That surprised me too. I'm sorry about before. Which bit? Um, all of it. Well, you would have thought. Well? I should really make a move. Oh, I thought you just did. <laughs> no, I, I should. I should go. Uh, you can come to mine. You are great. You're great too. Thank you. I just think we are completely different kinds of great. Oh my god, this lady is freaking me oh out. God, I know, but I just need to do a wig, otherwise I'm gonna piss myself. This is for you, isn't it? I know, but just let me do this and then we'll get our hair and go to Subway, okay? Believe it or not, Sarah, some things are worth the fuss. Hey love, I've been trying to call you. Where are you? I'm out.